Hey, it's Hunt. You found Hunt on Saints. We're talking black and gold football. Do us a favor. Hit the like button, share your comments below, and hit that subscription button so you can get all of our content. Enjoy. All right, let's talk about the Saints. Um, I want to talk about uh, a couple of the veterans that we have not talked a lot about because we spent a ton of time talking about Trevor Penning and what's going to happen you know, with some of the young players they brought in. I want to talk about Cam Jordan and Demario Davis. Cam, statistically, last year uh, was not a productive player on the edge, specifically rushing the passer. Do you think those days are behind him? I do think the double-digit sack days could be quite behind him now. Uh, he's up there at age. and Last year, he was battling that ankle injury. He had the surgery this offseason. Uh, looks like he's getting close to being 100% during these OTAs. Um, you know, you get if you can get six to, you know, seven and a half, eight sacks from him um, a season until he retires, that would be amazing. That would be like him getting 12 or 13 sacks. Uh, but I do think like the double digit sack days are behind him. But, you know, but it also comes with getting help along that defensive line. The, the other guys have to be productive and disruptive in order for him to get those six to eight sacks in this season. No question. And I, I'm, um, I'm curious because we've seen the decline of Michael Thomas. We've seen the decline of Ryan Ramchick. We've seen the decline of Cam Jordan. And we have not seen any decline from Demario Davis, who keeps playing basically at an all pro level. How long can he keep that up? Uh, well, the way he takes care of his body, he can keep it up for at least another two, three years. Uh, he jokingly you know, said like last season he wants to play two or three more years after LeBron retires, and <laughs> God knows when he's going to retire. I mean, that means he would be playing until his, you know, the age I'm at right now, 42. Uh, so, you know, he, he's done a good job. I mean, he hasn't missed a game. 199 games since joining the Saints, including the playoffs. And got close last year against Jacksonville for, to missing his first game in a black and gold uniform. And, powered through it because he has great people around him, you know, to make sure that uh, he's ready to play in games. And that's just the one thing about DeMario, he's always available to play. And then not just available, he's playing at a high level. And he's working sideline to sideline, getting to the quarterback, making tackles. Uh, and, it's, and it can be infectious for the rest of the team. We saw Drew Brees go into the Saints Hall of Fame. Do you think either or both of them go into the Saints Hall of Fame? Oh, no doubt. They'll be, once they retire, Three years after they retire, they'll be Saints Hall of Famers. Like, if moving forward, the Saints Hall of Fame should be easy every single year. How so? I mean, you got to think there's a lot of players following behind Drew Brees in, in the coming years. You know, you'll have Mark Ingram, Jimmy Graham, uh, some of the other guys who played on the 0-9 team who haven't gotten in yet, and some of the guys who are currently on this team, like DeMario and Cam, whenever they eventually – Call it quits. There'll be some guys you'll be wondering about if they're going to get in, like Michael Thomas. Will he get in? Numbers wise, yeah, he should get in. But if you're talking about what's happened over the last couple of years, you'd be like, Ugh. It's, it's kind of iffy. But there are a lot of guys out there still going to make. You know, Alvin Kamara will eventually get in. You know, Ryan Ramchek will eventually get in. They're just they're just a boatload of guys on. They're going to be eligible to get in. We'll get in easily. All right, let's talk about practice tomorrow. You're heading out there. What's uh, what's going to catch your eye? See if anybody else shows up. Speaking of Alvin Kamara, will he show up for the last OTA practice? Getting into next few weeks, mandatory minicamp. Marshawn Lattimore, doubt he'll be there. And I'm starting to wonder if he'll be at mandatory minicamp next week. Just because it's mandatory doesn't mean he needs to be there because you see players all the time skipping out for certain reasons. So other than that, man, I just, I just want to see more work from Trevor Penning. You let off the show saying Trevor Penning. I just want to see my eyes on Trevor Penning and, and I'll tell you, S.A. Fuaga, how they're working on the right and left sides of that offensive line. Uh, I think that would be the uh, the biggest thing. Like I said, it's so hard to tell Hunt, whenever you're not in pads, you're not really like going at each other like they will be once they get into like week one of uh, training camp in Irvine, California. But I think that still has to be the main focus, that offensive line. How are you feeling about that offensive line as we sit here right now? Ah, it's, it's going to take some work, man, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm very confident in John Benton, and I'm very confident in Clint Kubiak's system. The West Coast offense, you know, should help solve some of the issues. Not saying it's going to be perfect. Not saying, you know, they're going to, like, not allow a sack or two in a, in a game. But it's going to give Derek Carr some ability to uh, maybe open up his game a little bit more and get the ball out of his hands much quicker. So uh, I think it's, you know, it, it's 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 going to work hand-in-hand hand with a lot of the, the rest of the offense and the coaches. So I, I, I need to see – where they're at halfway through training camp. 
Let's talk about Drew Brees then. Uh, what was your takeaway from his induction to the Saints Hall of Fame and uh, in the press conference that followed? No, I mean, uh, he got a little emotional and got choked up at uh, one point in time during the press conference where he was talking about his receivers and his tight ends and back to talking about the offensive line again. He, he says he has the picture in his, off, uh, in his office of this whole entire offensive line, and he kind of paused for five or six seconds, kind of choked up thinking about, you know, you know the Zach Streif, the Bushrod, the Jari Evans, you know, everybody who played on that offensive line that helped, you know, the Saints win the Super Bowl. So, uh, you know, I took a lot of it. He was very graceful and very, you know, had a lot of gratitude and very happy how things worked out for his career that, you know, started off like up in the air once the Saints uh, signed him after that, you know, shoulder injury. You never knew that it was going to get this far. Didn't know where this franchise was going after Hurricane Katrina. And, you know, just happy that he was here and had the ability to rebuild the city and the franchise and lead him to that first ever Super Bowl. Um, he was just thankful. He was just thankful for the fans, thankful for his teammates and coaches. Um, listen, first ballot Hall of Famer. You talk about Saints Hall of Fame, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer in a couple of years. So he did everything. He, I mean, like five, 5,000 plus yard seasons. So he threw for a little more than 68,000 yards in a black and gold uniform. Guy was just a menace on the field. It broke all kind of records. Some of them still stand. So, you know, it just the takeaway is that he was thankful. It, 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 was, it was nice to see him smiling and, you know, talking about the possibility of getting back into being a TV analyst after it didn't go right the first time and said, hey, he, he knows he could be much better than he was the first time. So it was a nice, you know, 20 minute speech and QA, but yeah, it's for Breeze, man. He's always going to be great. I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of black and gold in Canton when uh, when Nines bust goes up in, uh, in in the Hall of Fame. There'll probably be a lot of Saints fans that make that uh, make that trek up. Maybe you'll be there uh, covering it for WDSG. Thanks for we'll talk next week. Anytime, Hunt. Hey, it's Hunt. Thanks for watching Hunt on Saints. Before you leave, help us out a little bit. Hit that like button. Leave your comments in the section below, and hit that subscribe button so you get all our content right here from Hunt on Saints. We'll see you next time.